What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough. Okay, so it is finally time to take on Sabrina, you know, the not-so-teenage witch, right here in another gym battle. Yep, our creepy girlfriend, our crazy-ass girlfriend with psychic powers. Why are we gonna face her? Because we love them crazy chicks. That's right, guys. So, in the last few episodes, we've been doing a few side quests, doing this, doing that, taking care of business and all that stuff. And now, it is finally time to take on the gym leader. Now, you can only face Sabrina after you finish the whole uh, Team Rocket issue right here in the Silph Co. As you can see, Saffron City Pokemon gym leader, Sabrina, the master of psychic Pokemon. Okay. Alright. It's not that scary. Remember, there are two gyms, one being a fighting type and the other one being a psychic type gym. Well, the fighting type gym got a little discontinued after they got their asses kicked by uh, Sabrina and her friend, so yeah, it's okay. It's alright. It's whatever. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy right here. He's like, yo, champion of making. Sabrina's Pokemon uses psychic Pokemon power, or psychic power instead of force. Fighting Pokemon are especially weak against psychic Pokemon. They'll get destroyed before they even can put aim a punch. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so as you can see, there are a lot of panels around here, and we have to travel our way to Sabrina just to get to her. Now, remember, in Generation 1, or just like in Generation 1, these Pokemon trainers do have Psychic-type Pokemon, and then some of them might have Ghost-type with Psychic capabilities. Remember, if you're facing those types of Ghost-type Pokemon, Psychic-type Pokemon is the way to go, because they are also opposed to Pokemon. Anywho, let's go ahead and battle this guy. I'm assuming he has a... A slow bro right here somewhere so I'm gonna go with my little girl Aaliyah right here and uh, we're gonna be kicking some butt right now so let's go ahead Sabrina's young but she's also our highly skilled leader you won't reach her easily how much you want to bet how much you want to bet okay so here we are guys psychic Cameron would like to battle and he's coming out with his slow poke and I'm here with my baby girl Aaliyah Thunderbolt that's right finish him off Anywho, guys, so we're doing another marathon with Pokemon Leaf Green, and this is all because, yes, Draven is working hard and diligent to get all the Pokemon Platinum walkthroughs, uh, or all the rest of the uh, Platinum Pokemon, or Pokemon Platinum walkthrough videos out by the end of the month. If you guys haven't caught that little advertisement, Pokemon Platinum will continue on February 17th, so just keep that in mind, guys. I will be back with Pokemon Platinum, just, you know getting all the episodes taken care of, then I'm going to narrate them, and then after that, we're going to finish them all. I don't even think I'm going to have a background for that one, because, you know, we're already done. Capturing Pokemon, destroying everybody, you know, that kind of stuff. And, uh, well, you know, hopefully we'll end it with the bang right here. With the big, big bang, right there. Anywho, defeated another Slowpoke, and he's going to be coming out with his Slowbro right here. So, let's go right ahead and use this Thunderbolt to finish this guy off right here. Yeah, buddy. Finish him. And uh, that Slowbro survived, but it is paralyzed. And, uh, well, as you can see, disabled. he disables my Thunderbolt right here. No biggie, because I still got Shockwave right here for the win. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. See that? No more Slowbro. What now, Slowbro? What now? And, uh, well, that's pretty much it right there for Psychic Cameron. He's like, ow, down and out. That's right, guys. Down and out. Alrighty, so uh, we're going to be going in order. We're going to be battling every single trainer on our way to take on uh, Sabrina. Uh, part of that, too, is probably because I'm a little confused on where I'm at. But we're going to be battling everybody just to get to level 40, get prepared, that kind of stuff. So here we go, guys, battling Psychic Tyron. And he will be coming out with a Mr. Mime right here. Look at that, Mr. Mime. I think I got you. Now... Another way to take on a psychic type Pokemon is through physical attacks. Really, really strong physical attack. Not fighting type Pokemon per se, but physical attacks. Mainly because all these psychic type Pokemon are highly mental, highly specialized in their special arts of special uh, magic and all that stuff. As you can see, my Shockwave didn't really do much right there. And it took out my Aaliyah, like that. Now, that's a very, very bad example. Try not to do that again, but try and, try and have yourself a Pokemon with the high attack points or high uh, attack stat. That way you can uh, defeat a Pokemon or a Psychic type Pokemon real easily because their defense is paper thin. Paper, paper, paper thin. So I'm going to revive my Aaliyah right here. 
and I'm just uh, gonna take whatever Mr. Mime can give me, and of course I'm gonna be confused. Oh god, I hate you! All right, let's see what the, let's see, let's see what strength can do right here. Come on, come on, come on, tank! Don't give up. That's right, tank does the strength attack, and there goes Mr. Mime. Finished. And everybody gets their experience points right there. And uh, he's going to be coming out with Kadabra. So let's go ahead and switch him out. Now, I'm going to go with Godzilla right here because I do have three Pokemon that are weak towards Psychic type Pokemon. So that's that's not really good right there. And uh, Kadabra, as you probably already know, high, high, high freaking uh, uh, special attack and special defense. But it's, it's regular defense is not that good. Nah. So here we go. Fly attack does it for the win. That's why I'm not worried against these guys. You would think these guys are scary, but really, they're not. He's like, I don't believe this! No, you can't believe this. Alrighty, let's go ahead and heal Aaliyah because uh, my niece will ring me if, uh, you know, I don't heal my, uh, my her, her Pikachu. It's not my Pikachu, it's her, it's her Pikachu. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go back up here. Actually, we gotta go back to the next one right here of course I'm just uh, you know I'm just winging it don't really care where I'm going gonna be battling everybody right here so let's go ahead and take this guy out does our unseen power scare you no it doesn't no it doesn't okay so here we go going up against psychic Johan and he will be coming out with his Kadabra and I'm coming out with Aaliyah um yeah I'm gonna have to switch out right here because Aaliyah mm -mm like Kadabra. Very, very weak on defense. And uh, this Kadabra thought it was going to get hit, but no, it doesn't. So here we go. Body slam. Let's go with that body slam. Oh, yes. And that is it for Kadabra. Yeah. Let's go, Tank. And then Aaliyah grows to level 39 right there. And Tank nearly grows to level 41. And, uh, well, let's go back to Aaliyah because easy. Easy stuff right here. Easy money for Aaliyah with a slow poke. Alright. Let's go. Thunderbolt. For the win. Alrighty. Okay. And uh, no more slow poke right there. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. And, uh, well, he's gonna be coming out with Mr. Mime. Not Mr. Rhyme. Mr. Mime. And, uh, let's go straight to Godzilla right here and just destroy him with our starter Pokemon. Alrighty. Bring it, Mr. Mime. You ain't so scary. Mega Punch for the win. Looking at. Oh, yes. And, uh, well, they're going to be going with the Reflect right here. And, uh, well, it could go one of two ways. We can beat this guy, or it could just, yeah, not make him faint. But as you can see, defeated him quickly. Look at that. And uh, he's coming out with the Cadaver. So let's go ahead and stay with uh, Godzilla right here. And uh, let's go with the Fly. We won't get hurt. Yeah, so, yeah, future sight. You gotta love that future sight. Gotta love the future sight. All right, there we go with the fly attack. Nearly beats Kadabra, and uh, well, seismic toss will do the trick. It's not exactly a fighting type Pokemon move because it what predetermined, uh, predetermined uh, attack points and all that stuff. I don't know. And uh, there we go. Defeated another psychic. He's like, I never foresaw this. Well, you already foreseen it. Okay, so let's see. Um, I'm gonna go right here, right? Nope, we're going down there. And uh, going down here. Now we're gonna be facing a Chandler, so these guys usually have ghost type Pokemon. So I'm gonna take a risk and use Executumon right here because ghost types in this generation, or I don't know, in uh, generation 1 through 3, si or ghost and poison type Pokemon. And we all know what poison type Pokemon are, are, are uh, weak to. So here we go, going up against a Ghastly. Here's Executumon going with the Psychic Attack. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. You see, one hit KO. Alrighty, alrighty. And he's going to be coming out with a Hunter, so let's just stay right here. Executumon looking at the face of fear with a Shadow Punch. Still effective. Still very effective, but here we go, Psychic Attack. Gonna destroy him in his red hand right there. Yes, sir, it does. A critical hit. Yeah. What's up? What's up? Alrighty. Okay, so my Pokemon are doing good enough. Yeah, they're doing great. 
Okay, so let's see. I have to find my way around here. And we're gonna be battling this guy right here, so let's go ahead and switch our Zekumon to Godzilla. Okay, so let's go. Bring it. Saffron si or Saffron Pokemon Gym is famous for training psychics. You want to see Sabrina, don't you? I can tell. Well, there's only one reason why I'm here. I'm not here to train with psychic type Pokemon. I'm just here to train. So let's go. Preston wants to come out with his slow bro. Alrighty. And uh, yeah, probably should have came out with uh, with Leah, but you know what? Seismic toss. Slowbro must be heavy. A little bit heavy. There we go. And uh, it takes a little bit. Like a nice chunk. So let's go. Mega punch and oh, crud. Doesn't do anything. And uh, yeah, there's the amnesia attack. You don't want that to happen because it will uh, heighten its uh, special defense. No biggie. Let's go. Mega punch. And uh, nearly takes him out. Oh, crud. And look at that. Disabled. Oh my god. I'm feeling scared because I can't be. Uh, I won't be able to use my mega punch. But here it is. Seismic toss for the win. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. And uh, Godzilla grows to level 41. And uh, Leah, eh, you know, it's just uh, reaping off the benefits and all that stuff. Alrighty, so let's see. Um, should probably go right here. Oh, well, what do you know? There's Sabrina. So we're gonna wait on you. Remember where we need to go, and we have to battle two more trainers right here. Not leaving without training or without battling all you guys. So let's go back to switching out the Pokemon. Everybody's gonna get a little bit of loving right here. So let's go right here. Pokemon take uh or pick Pokemon take on the appearance of uh, their trainers. Your Pokemon must be tough then. Probably. Probably. Alrighty. So who's next? Chandler Stacy would like to battle, and she's coming out with a Haunter. So I thought they were all guys or something. Guess I was wrong. Whatever. So let's go with the psychic attack, and uh, here comes a nightshade. That can't be good. Ah, oh, crud. Here we go. Psychic attack for the win. Yeah, buddy. Look at that, Hunter. You've been defeated. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty, and uh, Chandler Stacy. One hit KO. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and find that last trainer. Remember where we were, guys. Okay, so battling this chick. Now that we know that it's a chick, you and I are Pokemon Shell Battle. Alrighty, let's go. Well, let's see what you got. So Tasha wants a battle, and she will be coming out with her Ghastly. Okay. You, you, you look a, a little scary to be a Ghastly, but it's okay. But here we go. Take a load of my Psychic Attack. Yeah, and uh, well, there's that critical hit right there. You have to love it. All right, okay. And uh, let's see, you gonna come out with the ghastly? Okay, let's continue with this Executmon right here. All righty, let's go. Good thing we have Executmon. Good thing we have Executmon, and there you go. All righty, and uh, well. Let's see, he's gonna be coming out with. She's gonna be coming out with a hunter. So let's go ahead and stay with Executmon and just destroy everybody with psychic attacks. And unfortunately, Hunter's a little faster than us, so we're gonna be confused just a tad bit. Oh, gravy. Okay, come on, come on, Executmon. That's right, psychic attack. Yeah, buddy. And there we go. No more hunters. Alrighty. Okay. And look at that, Aaliyah, welcome to the level 40 club. The benefits, you're at level 40 and uh, you might evolve, I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, so let's go back to where we were. Let's see if we remember where we were. Ah yes, we, we do remember. We have to go all the way up right here. Ah crud, that was the wrong one. Alright, um, downstairs right here. And we're gonna have to go to right here to the corner. And there you are, Sabrina, my girlfriend. How you doing? It's been a while. I haven't seen you in quite some time. Please do not shock me or erase my memory or anything like that because, uh, yeah, not scared. Not scared at all. Alrighty, so let's go with the tank right here. And, uh, you know what? Let's see. Who should I start off? Let's see. Okay, so now that Aaliyah has grown to level 40, I'm just gonna get that and. 
I'm going to give this to, let's see, where is it? There you are. I'm going to go give that to Thrasher since it's very, very close to level 40. Now, the Pokemon I will be starting off with is, let's see, let's go with Godzilla right here because it's very, very physical right now. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and talk to our good old, a good old crazy girlfriend, or Sabrina. <laughs> I had a vision of your arrival. I have had psychic power since I was a child. It started when I, when a spoon I had care carelessly tossed bent. I dislike battling, but if you wish, I will show you my powers. Yeah, buddy, she's gonna be showing me her powers. Of course, that means her psychic powers. You know what I mean, guys? Come on, come on, don't be sick of. Alrighty, let's do this. Bring it. Oh man, I love this song. Mm. Do do. Let's go. Leader Sabrina wouldn't like to battle, and she will be coming out with her Kadabra. Alrighty, let's go, Godzilla. Okay, guys. So going into the next screen, as you can see right here, Sabrina, the lovely uh, leader of the Saffron City Gym. She has four Pokemon, all psych psychic type Pokemon. Well. Three Pokemon that are psychic type Pokemon. One that is a uh, a bug and poison type Pokemon. Now, as you can see right there on the corner, the way to defeat psychic type Pokemon very very simple: dark type Pokemon, bug type Pokemon, and ghost type Pokemon. Now, the only problem with that is that hey, you know, um, in Generation One or Generation Three remakes, you don't really get that many dark type Pokemon. On top of that, the ghost types they're not really ghost types because they also have poison capabilities. So like I was talking about earlier, you need yourself a Pokemon with a high attack point or a high attack stat in order to defeat these guys because their physical attack and defense paper thin. So her, her, her four Pokemon, she starts off with a Kadabra at level 38, does have the synchronized effect, has Psybeam, Reflect, Future Sight, Calm Mind, then she's got Mr. Mime at level 37, she's got the Barrier, Baton Pass, Psybeam, uh, Calm Mind, and then you got Venomoth, the bug and poison type Pokemon. Does have Psybeam, Gust, Leech Life, Supersonic. The way you defeat this Pokemon, Fire types, you know, Psychic types. Hmm. Oh wait, Psychic type? No. You can actually use a Flying type. Yeah, Ice types. We can go on and on. It's not right there on the screen, but you guys know what I mean. And then her strongest Pokemon at level 43, Alakazam. It does have Synchronize, and it does have Psychic, Future Sight, Recover, and Calm Mind. So let's go back right here and let's do this. Mega Punch. That's right. That's right. Eat this Mega Punch. See how easy that was? Paper Thin Defense. Oh, yes. And she will be coming out with Mr. Mime right here. So let's go straight to Tank. I got the Pokemon with strength. Like Tank right here. It'll just like body slam him. Alrighty. Mr. Mime. Here we go. Body slam for the win. And of course, they're going to be using Calm Mind to uh, elevate their special attack and defense. So just be aware of that, guys. If you're trying to use like Flamethrower, Water Gun, or anything, won't be as effective as you probably thought. But there you go. Tank, level 41. Yeah, buddy. And he's trying to learn Block. Huh. Nah, you know what? I don't need Blanc for a tank. I already got a Pokemon with that ability. Alrighty, so who is next? Venomoth. Let's go right ahead and use... Hmm. 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 You know what? Screw it. Let's use Aaliyah. Let's go ahead and use our little Pikachu right here. Let's go. Bring it on. Bring it on. Let's go Thunderbolt. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And you are going to be... Come on. Supersonic. You gotta hate that. You really do. So that's just a bit of a, an advantage for the for this Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and use a Thunderbolt yet again. Come on. Damn it. Oh, God. Ah, shoot. Ah, crud. So there's that side beam. See, that's what happens when you get a little too cocky. So let's go straight to the next Pokemon right here. Can't use these three Pokemon. So let's go to Godzilla. Because it's, it's double weakness. Alrighty, bring it, bring it, you Motham Pokemon. Yeah, you can't do anything. So let's go, flamethrower, for the win. Burn, burn. That's right. No more Venomoth. That's right. And uh, Aaliyah, uh, yeah, you're looking pretty good. And here she comes out with her Alakazam. So we're gonna be staying put. And uh, all right, bring it, fly attack. 
And, uh, well, there's one thing. Alakazam is fast. It is very, very fast. It's elevating its uh, special attack and defense, so I gotta hit him pretty hard. Very, very hard, and oh, good. So as you can see, it is starting off with uh, its uh, most uh, capable attack right here. Call mind, and, uh, all right, gotta go with a Mega Punch. You know, it could have defeated me right there and then, because its, it's uh, special attack is pretty high. But, you messed up. You messed up, buddy. <laughs> That's right. You messed up. And, as you can see, I defeated Sabrina for my for my next badge right here. This loss shocks me, but a loss is a loss. I admit, I didn't work hard enough to win. Your victory has earned you the Marsh Badge. Alrighty. Alrighty. Okay. So, the Marsh Badge makes Pokemon up to level 70 obey you. Stronger Pokemon will become wild and ignoring your orders in battle. Just don't raise your Pokemon too much to avoid that problem. Wait, please take this TM with you. And here we are, the TM-04, which happens to be Calm Mind. Psychic power isn't something that only a few or that only a few people have. Everyone has psychic power. People just don't realize it. Uh, let's see. TM-04 is Calm Mind. It makes the Pokemon concentrate to raise both its special attack and special defense. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty, okay, so she said she was she was gonna tell me about a cool future and all that stuff, but she already knows that me and her, we're gonna get married someday. That's right, just don't tell Cynthia that. And, uh, well, it is finally time to get the heck out of here because, uh, yeah. We've done enough battling for one day, guys. Um, actually, that was the wrong area. Let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Right here. And, uh, yes, finally, we're, we're out of here. We're finally gone. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to the guy that's only believed in us so many times. Psychic power, huh? If I had that, I'd make a bundle off the, at the slots. That is true. That is very, very true. So let's go ahead and see this. Saffron City Gym, leader Sabrina, winning trainers, Gary and Draven. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty. Alrighty, okay, so I'm feeling like a pimp. I'm feeling awesome. I'm feeling great. Yeah. That's right. Now, let's see. There is something that we need to do here. Hmm. Be before we leave, before we finish, there is something here that we need to do. Let's see. If you go right here. Uh, let's see. Thank you for writing. Hope you write soon. Don't look at my letter. I think this is the wrong place. Let's see. Copy KSQ. I'm getting her a doll. Okay. So, there is one thing that we can do right here that you, I think you guys should, should be able to do. Now, if you go into this house... It was blocked before. If you talk to, let's see, these two people, my daughter likes to mimic people. It's uh, rather vexing. Her mimicry has earned her the nickname Copycat around here. Now, if you go upstairs, and if you talk to her, she's going to be changing into you in a little bit. Oh, no, actually, she's going to be mimicking you. This is like the only first, like the first time you'll ever see me talk in, in person right here. Draven, hi, do you like Pokemon? Uh, no, I just asked you. Huh. You're strange. Hmm, quit mimicking. But that's my favorite hobby. Okay. So, she does love mimicking. And the guy that said buy her a, a doll, that is like a clue right there saying that, hey, you know, get her a Poke doll. So, what we're going to do to finish off this episode is we're going to be going to Celadon City right here. And we're going to get a Poke doll. And I think she will be able to teach us, like, mimic or something. Right? Yeah. All right, let's go. Actually, let's use a bike right here. It's a little bit faster and all that. Alrighty, so let's see. Hmm, a key, a key, right here. Let's see, where do you buy a Poke Doll? I think it's like at the, the fourth floor or something. Maybe fourth floor, fifth floor. I don't even know. Third floor. There we go. And this is the floor right here. So come right here, talk to this guy, and buy a Poke Doll. It only costs a thousand bucks, guys. It's just a thousand. Zenny, and uh, that is pretty much it. And, uh, well, let's go back down and let's go visit that girl yet again. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so going back down, down, down. So, how's you guys' day going? Pretty good? Awesome? Great. That is great. So, let's go back and fly. Fly like an eagle to Saffron City because we gotta give her the copycat. Or the doll. I don't even know. I don't even know. Okay, so let's go right 
Oh wow, that just froze. <laughs> let's go right up and uh, let's see. Is this the house? Yes, this is the house right here. Alrighty, so let's see. Where are you, young lady? Oh damn, can't even see the stairs right there. And uh, talk to her. Oh wow, a Poké doll for me? Thank you. You know what? I can teach the move mimic. Okay, so she doesn't really give you a TM. But anybody can learn Mimic right here, and uh, well, I, don't, I really don't have use for the uh, for the name Mimic, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. You can get, yeah, you don't like Mimic? Well, you, like, see, oh well, Poke Doll. So if you give her a Poke Doll, then she, you know, she'll teach you the 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 move Mimic. Um, shoot, uh, let's just teach it to, to to Tank right here, since you know Rest is really not. I'm not really using Rest a lot, so yeah, replace it. Forgotten. Let's see, let's take away this one right here. So there we go. Take away rest, and there we go. We got mimic. She's like, "Hi, thanks for earlier." Pardon? Is that fun, or is it fun to, or is that fun to mimic my every move? You bet. It's a scream. Wow, she's annoying. Kind of annoying. Whatever. Okay, guys. So that's pretty much it for this episode. And uh, well, in the next. I would like to say two episodes. I want to get these two episodes out there for new sections and all that stuff, but it is finally time to do what we need to do, and that is go capture some legendary birds that are here in Kanto that now we have the ability to do. So stay tuned, guys. In the next two episodes, we'll, we're going to be capturing both Articuno and Zapdos. Let's see how this is going to go, okay? I'll see you guys in a little bit. See you guys. Mm -hmm.